Good morning. I am starting with the topic permanent tissue. Permanent tissue. Tissue. Once more, I am recalling about the permanent tissue. The tissues whose cells do not divide are known as permanent tissue. Simple permanent tissue. I discussed in the previous lecture. Now I am discussing about the complex permanent tissue. Complex permanent tissue. As you know, simple permanent tissue consists of only one kind of cells, but complex permanent tissue is formed of more than one, consists of more than one kind of cells. Complex permanent, in case of complex permanent tissue, the different kinds of cells coordinate together to perform a common function. Two main kinds of permanent tissues are there. The first one is xylem. And second one is phloem. From very beginning you are knowing, you are knowing that xylem is meant for the upward transport of water from root to leaves. And phloem is meant for the transport of food from uh, leaf to other parts of the plant. Phloem transport takes place in both the direction, that is both upward and downward direction. And xylem transport means transport of water takes place only in one direction, that is from root to the leaves. Now, I'm discussing about xylem. Xylem consists of four kinds of cells. Xylem consists of four kinds of cells. The first one is tracheids. Second one is vessel. Third one is xylem parenchyma. And the fourth one is xylem fiber. Tracheids are dead tissue. Vessels are also dead. It is living and it is dead. As most of the cells in the case of xylem are dead, therefore it is known as the dead mechan dead tissue it is the xylem is a dead complex permanent tissue only its parenchyma element is living and other are dead it is chiefly meant for the transport of water from root to leaves again i am explaining now i am erasing it and explaining one by one all the cells of xylem.
there are kids. The structure of the cell is like this. It is elongated cells with their tapering end. And through its lumen, water is transported. It has pits. And through pits, water is transported from one tracheid to the other tracheid. In this way, as I am giving, I am making diagram here. It is split here, water is transported and water is transported through this pit, this pit only, from one tracheid to other tracheid, water travels. And from, in the same way, from these to other and others, the water goes upward through this tracheid. It is dead, as already I discussed, that its cells are dead. Thank you. Now I am uh, explaining the other tissue, the vessel. Vessel, the second tissue of the xylem is vessel. Vessel cells are like uh, a small tubes, you can see. Very small tube type hollow it is. It's both in transverse walls are either partially or wholly dissolved. And one vessel is present above the other vessel to form a continuous tube-like structure. And through this water molecule is transported up. This is how the vessel is. Mm, arranged in the xylem tissue and uh, the and uh, you can also say that it is also also dead it is also dead its wall is uh, strong and it is also dead tissue and uh, the third tissue about which we will discuss is the xylem parenchyma Xylem parenchyma. Cells of xylem parenchyma are simple, similar to, sorry, cells of xylem parenchyma is similar to the cells of the simple parenchymatous tissue as it was present in the cortex as it present in the pith, it is also like that tissue. It is like simple permanent parenchymatous tissue. It has a nucleus, it has vacuoles and other types of cell organelles are present in the in it and it mainly acts as a packing tissue. In the xylem tissue Wherever there is a gap, it is filled with the parenchyma. And it is also meant for the lateral transport of water. This is how we are familiar with the xylem parenchyma. It is, it is the only component of the xylem tissue that is living. Now, I am discussing another topic that is xylem fiber. Xylem fiber is also very simple. Cells of xylem fiber is 
is like simple fiber that we studied in the previous class about the xylem about the fibers strand commanders fiber we studied no it is the same thing it is the fiber present in the xylem tissue elongated cells in this way it is also a dead tissue and it provides the strength or mechanical strength to the permanent to this xylem tissue this is how our xylem tissue are made up of now a question arises what are the main functions the main function one function it is already known to you that xylem is meant for the upward movement of water not only this as it is made up of very strong cells like xylem fiber sieve tube companion cells it also provides the mechanical support to the plant this is how our xylem is completed now we are going to discuss about phloem 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 is another complex permanent tissue it is meant for the transport of food from leaf to other part or from root to other part or it is we can say that it is mainly meant for the transport of um, food it is meant for the transport of food now it consists of four main parts seed tube companion cells phloem parenchyma and fourth one is phloem fiber so these four types of cells form the phloem permanent tissue the sieve tube is living companion cells are also living phloem parenchyma is living only one component that is phloem fiber is dead so it is said that the phloem is a living complex permanent tissue because only one component is dead and others are living therefore it phloem tissue the phloem per complex permanent tissue uh, can be regarded as the living permanent tissue ah ah sieve tube cell one of the component of the phloem permanent tissue its end plate are perforated at, as you are seeing here it is perforated end plate
वन सी प्लेट इज प्लेस्ड एवर ओवर द अदर वन सीप ट्यूब इज प्लेस्ड ओवर सॉरी वन सीप ट्यूब इज प्लेस्ड ओवर द अदर इन दिस वे ए कंटिन्यूअस चैनल फॉर द ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑफ फूड इज फॉर्म द साइटोप्लाज्म इट इज लिविंग सेल इट साइटोप्लाज्म इज इज ट्रांसफर टू द पेरीफेरल रीजन एंड दिस रीजन यू सी थ्रो विच ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑफ फूड टेक्स प्लेस इट इज द ब्लैंक थ्रो विच ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑफ फूड टेक्स प्लेस इट डज नॉट हैव न्यूक्लियस एंड इन द साइड ऑफ दिस सीप ट्यूब देर इज ए सेल नॉन एच द कंपेनियन सेल कंपेनियन सेल इज प्रेजेंट हियर इट हैज ए न्यूक्लियस एंड दिस न्यूक्लियस कंट्रोल्स द एक्टिविटी थ्रो द पोर नॉन एच प्लाज्मो डेस्माटा by this plas plasmodesmata both these cells are um, joined to each other connected they are connected and through this uh, this nucleus controls its activity also activity of sieve tube cells is also controlled by the nucleus of the uh, companion cell it is the companion cell cell it is also living and companion cell is also here here is also sieve tube different types of sieve tubes companion cells and in this way sieve tube and compa companion cells together uh, are uh, utilized in the transport of food and it, these two are the main components living main component of the uh, sorry permanent tissue after this companion cell sieve tube companion cell phloem parenchyma the other tissue sieve tube companion cell i am explaining Phloem parenchyma. The third cell of the this uh, phloem component complex permanent tissue. It is like the simple parenchymata cells. It acts as the packing tissue of this phloem permanent tissue. wherever there is there is a empty space in that place this parenchymata cell are present it has the packing tissue and this is how the living component of the phloem complex permanent tissue are arranged phloem parenchyma phloem fiber it is also not very bad thing it is a simple fiber that we have studied in the last class the sclerenic gametas fiber it is also a kind of fiber which provide a strength to the um, this uh, uh, phloem complex permanent tissue sclerenic gametas cells sclerenic gametas fiber it is sclerenic gametas fiber nothing more than that it is this is how the phloem permanent um, cells of phloem permanent tissue phloem complex permanent tissue are arranged and uh, what's the function its function is to um, help in the transport of food means that 
It is the tissue through which transport of food from leaf to other parts takes place. Thank you.